Hey all you guys and girls, if you want to know what I think is very possibly the new meta for the most powerful weapon in the game, then stay tuned, that's coming up next. Welcome back gamers, like I was saying, if you have a little look at this amazingly glowing rod right here, which absolutely looks phenomenal, then you'll see I've had a little bit of luck. Um, unfortunately, I have made an absolute boo-boo because I've never had one of these with a um, combo effect like this before. So I have rolled one of the worst combos possible. But let me just show you what it is. So first off, it's called the Growing Staff. Now, what I didn't realise, because I thought this would be quite a good effect, chucking on swirling, uh, chucking on exploding, and smiting. So obviously that would do a lot of damage to undead, and the swirling effect, and the swirling effect would proc the exploding. What I didn't realise, because I'd never used anything with a stylish combo before, is look how long it takes to proc swirling. Oof! Now, it's not so bad, obviously, if you've done this, but still, it's very very long but also did you see those numbers right so this has got some absolutely awful talents on it they're not good swirling is usually amazing not for this exploding mm, okay not bad not the best smiting not the best what you would definitely definitely want on this would definitely be if I can find it. Crit damage. And then our old favourite. Of course I haven't got anything with it on at the moment. Where are you? Ah, there you are. God, that took a while. Committed. If you could get double committed and crit damage or committed plus crit damage plus radiance I think that this would be the most powerful weapon in the game at the moment now I'm basing that on just the fact that it's got up to 4999 melee damage which is really really good it's got quite good area not bad speed it says it's really slow but I think it's okay really and pretty good power so 1625 to nearly 5000 uh, damage and obviously if it's a one, uh, 112 it would be over 5000 that's massive to put that in perspective that's the heart stealer if you see a fully kitted out one of these with all of the trimmings on and all the best um, enchantments it does absolutely ridiculous damage this will smash that to pieces so I am going to go out on a limb and say even though I've been unlucky with the actual um, rolls and absolutely s silly beyond compare with the fact that I should have uh, checked what Whirlwind was going to prop on it's still an absolutely amazing amazing weapon really really good and one of the best looking weapons in the game at the moment um, so let me just chuck that damage number on again just so you can see so at highest and bear in mind this hasn't got any extra damage to it none so it will do 35,000 35,000 without any crit or any multiplier so what's a crit on this then a crit is three times 35,000 and three times. So basically, with the 112 uh, version, you'll be doing well over 100, probably 120,000 damage on a crit with just the crit hit on it. Once you're using the gong, obviously, and the mushroom, like not on its own, but with the gong and the mushroom you'll be getting at least 120,000 damage, if my maths is correct, with the extended crit. And that's without the other two perks. 
Wow. <laughs> that's, that's pretty, pretty massive. So if you put committed on that, because it's got, it looks like it's got increased damage to wounded mobs. Now, in my eyes, that means it's already got committed built in. They're usually only level one, as far as I can tell most times. But even that is still the best thing to have, because committed is, as far as I'm aware, other than Radiance, obviously, for damage-wise, pretty much the best one in the game. So, all you people, go out and try and farm the Growing Staff. I was very lucky, and I got it from this guy right over here. So deconstruct everything you don't want. Don't do your gear that you need. Do everything you don't want, and use the blacksmith as many times over as you can. Get rid of that st stuff again, and then do it again. I used about 40,000 jewels, which I'd saved up for, obviously, when the DLC dropped. And that got me quite a lot of tasty stuff. Probably better stuff than I've got during the entire time before the DLC. So it got me 110 cursed axe, it got me 112 fighters bindings, and moon dangers. I have never seen these two before. I have run all of the content a million times over. I've got these on the first day of plan. Guys, girls, use the blacksmith. I'm not 100% sure, I may have been lucky, but I think the drop rate has gone up a little bit, because before it was absolutely devastatingly awful. Uh, drop a comment if you think I'm wrong or if you if you think it's exactly the same But if you've had any luck at all, let me know now if you're wondering where to get this from unfortunately, I can't actually see like it's a staff weapon Ah, It's a staff weapon right so it's not unless they've put it in the new uh, Sorry, let me just make sure I go to the right place. Unless they've put it in the secret place that you get from here, which I've not unlocked yet, then it looks like it's just on the original content from wherever you get a staff. So let's have a little look, see where we get that. It must, must be on the last secret location then. Ah, I am completely wrong. It's the new lower temple. I've unlocked that. I have not completed it yet. I think that's pretty much it. Right. Guys, girls, do yourself a favour. Run the lower temple, run it on Apoc Apocalypse Seven because you want it. You want it dropping on the highest you can. A one-one-two version of that will decimate everyone. I would love to hear in the comments if you could, um, if anyone's got any good versions with crit hit and something else. Obviously, crit radiance and like I said, uh, committed would be ideal. If you can tell me how much that hits for, I would be very, very, very intrigued in that one. But right, guys and girls, that's what I think will definitely be the new meta for absolutely destroying bosses and probably mobs, to be fair. Doesn't look like much like this. It's a really, really sexy stuff to have, though, isn't it? Look how cool that looks. But yeah, unfortunately, my one didn't drop with the right with the right um, talents as such. Or enchantments, sorry. But I'm still going to use it, because I like the looks of it. And it still hits pretty up. And it's got radiant. Has it got Radiance? Yeah. No. Ah, uh, no, it's not. Right, it's got Smiting. Good enough. <laughs> but right, everyone, I hope that's helped you a little bit and gave you something to do with a new DLC. Um, like I said, uh, I'm pretty much bringing out all the content for Minecraft Dungeons and everything that's Xbox-related, all the latest and greatest gaming, and covering Division 2 and everything else that comes out. So if that interests you in the slightest, then hit that subscribe button and... Leave a like if you like the video. Obviously, if you think I'm wrong, leave a comment. Tell me why. But hit the bell icon as well if you've subscribed, and I'll bring you regular content. As always, guys and girls, take care, and I'll see you all next day.